Hello again, thanks very much for joining me. Um, we're into October now, well and truly the Grayling are showing up. So we're going to tie a bug to target the Grayling. Um, in the vise I have a Hanak Jig Superb at size 14. And I've coupled that with one of the get slotted 3.5mm beads. And as you can see here, it's a black one. And I'm going to be using the Fish On Ultimate Tine Silk. Can't see the label there, but it's it's the darker colour. And as always with these super strong threads, the first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of super glue to the shank of my hook. And then I can come in and just lock that into place. Bear with me while I just build up. It takes a little bit longer with this thread because it's so thin. And then I can come all the way to the back. Take away my waist. Now next, I want to add a little tag to this fly. Um, little tags work really well for grilling, I find, in different colours. Um, on this occasion, I'm going to use the Glow Bright number 4. And I'll take off a small length of that. And I'm going to fold it in half and then in half again. So I've got basically four strands of material. And I'm going to push that all the way up to the bead. Catch it in. And then once I've got it in place, I can hold it tight and bring it down to the base of the fly. Now, if you're going to tie a lot of these at the same time, snap off quite a big bit of that and then you can just keep putting it to the side. I'm going to use the bend of the hook as a guide and snip that away there. Okay, I'm going to add a wire rib now. And this is the UTC Ultra. It's the small and as you can see, it's a copper wire. So basically I'm going to push this into the slot of my bead. Catch it on in place. Just do some open turns to, to hold it into place. And then I'm going to come down and build my body. I want a nice taper on it. And it just takes a little bit of time, so bear with me with the thin thread. I mean, the, the UTC threads may be better, but for, for later on in the fly, it would, um, it would hinder me. So I'm just uh, taking the pain now with this rather than changing my thread, which uh, I didn't want to do in this video. So I'm going to bring that all the way up to the top, then bring my rib in the opposite direction to my the way my thread went on my body. Couple of turns to hold the wire in place. Couple of turns in front of the wire. Keeping tension on the thread. You can then twist that away. Now, I'm going to um, put some resin on my body, but what I don't want to do is put the resin on this section here. I only want to protect this rib here. And some people say it's, it's not, you know, you don't need to do that. And they're probably right. But what I find is if you don't take the time to do this or use a little bit of super glue, when you're fishing with a fly, once it starts bouncing off the bottom or it's been taken by a few fish, your rib starts to move round, uh, which is no good to me. So I'll just catch a little bit of red. It doesn't take much, it's just to hold it into place really and just give the fly a little bit more longevity. Now, I posted a picture on Facebook um, 
I don't know, six weeks ago maybe. And uh, I used a technique where I, I split the thread to create a wing with dubbing. So I'm going to do that here just to show you how that was done. Now, the fly seemed quite popular, um, although it was a fly for anglers rather than for fishing. I don't tie a lot of them, but um, I thought I would show you the technique because it, it's quite handy. So basically, what I do is I get my clip. Here's my empty clip and uh, I select from a number of different dubbins. So I've got, I've got quite literally maybe 30 or 40 different dubbins. There's, there's different glisters, there's different, you know, all manner of colours and uh, you can just use what, you can use your Labrador if you've got one. It doesn't really matter. Um, but what I like to do is, is blend them up a little bit. So I've already blended up a small amount and what I've come up with is this. It's a mix of the, I think it's a Solderini and some kind of pink glister dubbing, which I couldn't really identify. Um, because I've put it in the little box now. But um, there it is. And I'm also going to use some of the Trout Stalker dubbing. And this is the Tweak Natural. And I've already taken a little bit of that out of the packet. Now, you can't do this with just any old dubbing. You need to get a dubbing that will hold together like this. Because some dubbins just fall, all the bits fall off. But this is this is ideal. It just works really well for most things, to be fair. So in the clip, it might be quite difficult to do this on the camera. I'm going to insert my little bit of scruffy dubbing in the bottom half, and I'm going to try and keep that there while I insert my other dubbing in the top. So there we have the clip loaded, ready to go. I'm going to put that to the side. And while I've been blethering to you there, hopefully my thread's unspun and this should be a fairly straightforward operation. There we go. That went surprisingly well. So I've opened up my thread. I can now come along with my dubbing. So there it is, all loaded. I'm going to stick that in there, like so. Then I can spin up my bobbin. And this is just another way of getting that sort of hackled appearance without turning to a feather. So you can make your You can make your uh, wing from the dubbing and it, it gives a really pleasing effect actually so i've, I've just pulled out some of the, the loose fibers from the rope and just where i started my uv i'm going to concentrate my sparkly bit of the dubbing loop then i'm going to pull that all back out the way and come in over the top with my natural material Once that's in place, you can use either super glue or as I'm going to do here, a touch of UV resin, give it another few turns and then if you've got a wet finish tool and you can use it, crack on, if not, a couple of half hitches, make sure you don't forget to come and cure it. And then, with your dubbing brush, I'll just loosen my vise off here actually, you can come in and just, and the more time you take with this, the better the fly looks, I find. Any fibres that are too long, can simply remove them with your nail and there you have a little red tag 
with a dubbing wing. I hope that um, explains it, how I get that effect in the photographs. Thanks very much for watching. If you're enjoying what I'm doing here on the channel, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. If you want to make them up, that's how to do it.